Hello, my name is Dr. S. P. Yadav. I am a director of pediatric hematology oncology at Medanta Hospital and in charge of bone marrow transplant services as well. As you know, this is one of the most common red cell disorders in the world. Approximately 300,000 children are born every year with sickle cell disease globally. And India is the second largest country where sickle cell children are born after Nigeria. This is a big public health problem, especially in different parts of India, like Central India, Eastern and Western parts of India, and mainly the tribal areas of India, although it's less in North India. Sickle cell disease is a disorder in which you are born with abnormal hemoglobin. Instead of normal adult hemoglobin, you make sickle hemoglobin, HBS. And normally HBS should be zero in a healthy person. And those who are carriers, it can be up to 30 to 40 percent. But those who have sickle cell disease, their HBS level is 80 percent, 70 percent, something like very high. And what this abnormal sickle hemoglobin does is that it makes red cells very sticky and sickle shaped. Your red cells are not round, what normally they should be. They are sickle shaped. And at the times of stress, like when you have infection or you have less oxygen, you go in mountains or you have a surgery or other things or you have uh, high fever, then this, there can be sickling crisis, change of temperature like winters, etc. They can cause trigger a crisis where these sickle cells can stick to each other, these red cells, and cause a blockage of the circulation in any part of the body and lead to extreme pain. So pain is the main problem of sickle cell disease and these patients suffer with severe pain throughout their childhood and adulthood and any organ can be affected. So if the circulation stops in the brain, it can lead to a stroke, a paralysis, which can be life-threatening, can be fatal or can lead to a lot of disability. Then there can be if the circulation stops in the chest, it leads to acute chest syndrome where there's severe pain in the chest, breathing difficulty and sometimes they get infection on top of that pneumonia, etc. And you need oxygen, pain relief, hospital admission sometimes. Inside any bone, if circulation stops, that bone hurts like anything, you have severe, severe pain and sickle cell pain, most patients when they say I have pain, most doctors ignore it. They say oh, you look all right, there is no pain. But sickle pain is something which has to be taken very, very seriously and pain relief is a must uh, for all the patients. Then there can be, uh, all organs can be affected like kidneys can be affected, eyes can be affected. So comprehensive checkups are required for sickle cell disease patients. Bone marrow transplant is the permanent curative treatment for sickle cell disease and that's uh, what we do for many of our patients who don't do very well on medications or supportive care. So if despite being on hydroxyurea, which is a medicine which prevents crisis, if you're taking hydroxyurea, you are likely to do very well and you may be pain free or crisis free for long, many years. But those patients despite hydroxyurea are having problems, repeated hospital visits, hospital admissions, need for blood transfusions, having, having had a stroke or any other major crisis, they are candidates for a permanent cure, which is a bone marrow transplant. In bone marrow transplant, we need a healthy sibling is the preferred donor. So if it's a, there is a brother or sister who is a fully matched donor and doesn't have sickle or is just a carrier, they can be a donor and from them we can do a bone marrow transplant. If bone marrow transplant donor is not available within the family, like a full match donor, then we can do a half match transplant from one of the parents. Parents are always half match donor. Sometimes siblings can also be half match donors. And sometimes your relatives like uncle, aunts, etc. can be also half match donors. So that has again a good success rate, uh, half match donor transplant in sickle cell disease. Unfortunately, MASH unrelated donor transplant, like looking for the donors outside the family, doesn't have as good as results as half match transplant or full match transplant. But that's also an option we can explore and usually donors are not available in the unrelated donor registries. Now coming to bone marrow transplant, it's a procedure in which it's a one-time procedure. You are admitted in hospital for about a month and you are given certain medications known as conditioning or preparation to finish your old bone marrow and your old immune system and then a fresh bone marrow is collected from a, a donor, healthy donor and that is given to you like a blood transfusion. 
and this fresh bone marrow has the seeds or the stem cells which can make the new blood and after about 15 to 20 days you start making new blood new red cells which doesn't make sickle hemoglobin it makes a normal hemoglobin adult hemoglobin and you're free of crisis pain and other things and your quality of life changes dramatically after a transplant this is something which all patients should consider after careful discussions uh, deliberations with their local treating doctor and if their doctor feels they are not doing very well on medications and supportive care then they should be referred to a transplant center where they can be evaluated and offered a transplant 19th june is the world sickle cell disease day and i wish all the patients globally who are suffering from sickle cell disease to have good treatment access to medications, to transplant, and a proper advice and comprehensive sickle cell disease care. That's a must and all children deserve that and all adults suffering from sickle cell deserve that, a good care. Thank you.